As a couple of guys who have eaten a lot of Pop-Tarts, we found ourselves wondering recently if for similar calories and sugar content, would we rather be eating the Pop-Tart or the thing that it's trying to be? I guess today we're gonna find that out. We sure are. Now we know there are countless different comparisons we could be making between Pop-Tart and what they're trying to be, but these are the eight that we thought would be the most fun for today's video. Now this is about to be a great time, so make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed. Yes, what are you waiting for? Become a member of the Takedown Tribe. But I think it's time to start doing some Pop-Tart comparisons. Want to start with a tried and true confetti cupcake? Sounds good to me. Now I'm thinking we start with the Pop-Tart and then do what it's trying to be. Excellent. And before we get things started, we are team frozen when it comes to how we, li how we like to eat our pop tarts. It says right on the pack of the package, enjoy them straight out of the foil, toasted, stacked, or frozen. We are team frozen. But make sure to drop a comment and let us know how you enjoy your pop tarts most. Yes, we are not team toasted, surprisingly. Anyways, let's get into it. I'll show them the pop tart first. Okay, let's dive in. Confetti cupcake. Look at this thing. They do nail the flavor profile. Yeah, let's crush it. Again, they do a great job with that flavor. Yeah. Already, I cannot believe that we ate like 112 of those back in like earlier this year. That's the only time that we had had that flavor too. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do the cupcake. Now, just like the Pop-Tart, this is supposed to be filled. So let's see if they did a good job with that. Now, for a pack of those Pop-Tarts would equate to what I believe would be one of these cupcakes. Hey, not bad. It is filled. Mm -hmm. See how they are. That's great. That is a fantastic cake to frosting ratio. Mm -hmm. Love it. I'm going with the cupcake all day <laughs> over the Pop-Tart. Pop-Tart does a really good job with that con confetti cupcake flavor. Absolutely no complaints. It's actually one of the ones that I enjoy more out of like a lot of the Pop-Tarts that we've had. But you just can't touch a cupcake. Nope, if especially I, not one done right, and that one's done right. Yeah, if I could have an entire pack of Pop-Tarts or that entire cupcake, I'm going with the cupcake. Yep. What do you want to do next? Uh, I'm actually thinking cinnamon roll because we've never had the cinnamon roll Pop-Tart and we actually have never had the Hostess cinnamon roll either. So we'll be trying two new things today. Cool. Now we got the Hostess one because we thought it looked a lot like the cinnamon roll that was on the package. And I'm not gonna lie, it does. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna show them the uh, Pop-Tart and then well, actually I'll show them both. That looks pretty similar. Yeah, now again, it's a pack of Pop-Tarts would equate to what the sim similar calorie and sugar content would be for one of these. Yeah, let me show them the inside though. Cool. That's a good flavor. It reminds me just a little bit of the cinnamon brown sugar, which is my favorite Pop-Tart. I love this. That's very good. Let's crush it. I'm a fan. Yeah, they're doing a good job so far. Yeah, I really like that Pop-Tart flavor. <clears throat> I would recommend that to anyone. Okay, so here is the cinnamon roll. I'll right, show it to you whole. It's a pretty standard cinnamon roll. Yeah. It's not great or bad. Yeah. Mm. impressed me with that flavor. Really good. <clears throat> but if we had a microwave in here and that cinnamon roll was warm, I don't think it would even be a debate, even though I am impressed with the Pop-Tart flavor. Yeah, we had those awesome cinnamon rolls in last week's video, and I would definitely get that cinnamon roll over that Pop-Tart, but if it's between the Hostess cinnamon roll and the Pop-Tart cinnamon roll flavor, I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. I think it'd almost be a tie. Yeah, I think it would be a different one on a different day. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but that was pretty fun. That's yeah. a really good flavor Pop-Tart for anybody out there who really does like eating Pop-Tarts. Yes. Um, do you want to do the Fruit Loops next? We're very in between on cereal. Yeah, let's do it. We've actually never had Fruit Loops Pop-Tart either. <laughs> <laughs> now for this comparison, a pack of Pop-Tarts would equate to both of these containers of cereal. Yeah, yeah, that's who you're getting a lot more cereal, I feel, than Pop-Tarts. All right, that's good enough for me. These are really funny looking. <laughs> Here's the Pop-Tart. That's a 
vibrant center. Yeah. Let's try it. That's true, it looks all right. It takes a, kick, a second to kick in, though. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's a nice, bright, playful flavor, though. I like that as a Pop-Tart. It's very good. All right. That's really good. I am pleasantly surprised. I thought that was going to be a pretty lackluster flavor. They exceeded my expectations with that one. Let's try the cereal. It's been a while since we've had Fruit Loops. I'm saying this before we even finish this. I would get the Pop-Tart way before I got this. I absolutely agree. Okay. Going Pop Tart. Yep. Pop Tart wins that round. <clears throat> I guess these are rounds now. <laughs> um, as far as the Fruit Loops go, I feel like if I was eating both of those cups, I would feel like I was eating more. Yeah. Or eating for longer mm -hmm. than the Pop Tart. But in general, I just, I enjoy the flavor, the texture, the whole thing of the Pop Tart more. Love it. I kind of came into this experience anticipating to like everything that the Pop Tart is trying to be more than the Pop Tart. Yeah. But so far, this is a like this is pretty kind of I even. think we're kind of even right now. Yeah. Because yeah, definitely the first one definitely went to the what it's trying to be, but then like the second one was kind of a tie, and this one was Pop Tart wins all day. I'm thinking next though, I either want to do these cinnamon sugar pretzels or these sundaes. Let's do the sundae before it melts anymore. Okay. And then we'll do the pretzels. Sounds good to me. I remember really liking uh, hot fudge sundae Pop-Tarts when I was younger, and so I'm interested to try them now because we did not have these in our Pop-Tart video. No, it's been a very long time. Okay, here's the Pop-Tart. All right. That's nostalgia. It tastes exactly as I remember it. Yep. There's nothing to complain about. No. It's not my favorite pop tart flavor. It's very nostalgic though, and I do like it. Mm -hmm. Strong fudge flavor. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but then we've got these Blue Bunny no, hot fudge sundaes. Well, it's fudge sundae, basically. It's got fudge, it's got ice cream, but it also we got the ones that have cookie, like little cookie pieces, which is technically like the cookie of like the pop tart pastry. And then we topped it with our own frosting and sprinkles just so it would look more like the pop tart and what is on the box. <laughs> yeah, um, this one isn't quite as comparable as far as calories and sugar content goes. A little bit high. Because I think for a full pack of those pop tarts would be around 400 calories. And just just for this actual little sundae is 530. Yeah. So it's just a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Give it a shot. There's no comparison there. I'd get this any day over that. <laughs> Worth that, the extra 100 calories, in my opinion. That's a far more indulgent treat. Yes. <clears throat> no comparison. Yep. That was awesome. I was definitely expecting a denser ice cream though. If you like really pre like premium ice cream that's really dense, not a lot of air, I would steer clear of these because it is very light, very airy ice cream. These are the Blue Bunny Loaded Sundays. I don't know if we said the name of the brand, but the Blue Bunny Loaded Sundays, Cookie, Crunch, and Fudge. <clears throat> I do have to give them points though on the texture. Yeah, from those cookie pieces, and they do not skimp on the fudge in this product. I, that's exactly what I was gonna say. There is so much fudge in that; it's unbelievable. I really liked it. Yeah, if you're if you're in a Sunday for the fudge content, then I would recommend this. Yes. Even though it's not premium ice cream, they give you plenty there. Anyways, that one definitely wins <laughs> over the pop tart itself. Yeah. Do you want to do the um, the pretzels? Because I was thinking about doing that before. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. We've we've never had this. Uh, this pretzel popped out. We brought a lot of the flavors that we haven't had before because we thought that would be fun because we've already had all like so many of the other ones in that pop tart video and on the channel. I like the visual of it. Yes. These have so much sugar on them, it's ridiculous. Here we go. Now again, for this one, for the pack of pop tarts, 
the it's similar calories and sugar content to the both of these pretzels. Yeah, that's crazy. So you so, can have both of these pretzels or both of these pop tarts for the same calories, and this seems like much more. So here's the pop tart. And the pretzel. Let's try this one for the first time. I taste cinnamon. It does not taste like a pretzel. That box is sweet and salty too. I'm not getting salt. No, it's not a pretzel. It feels even drier than a typical Pop-Tart in my opinion. I think that's a miss on, uh, for, for a Pop-Tart. Yeah, I, good cinnamon flavor in the filling. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna show this one more time. But yeah, it's just, I, I think it's a miss. Wouldn't get it again. If you want a, a cinnamon flavored Pop-Tart, the brown sugar cinnamon is one of the goats, and that cinnamon roll was really good too. That one, not doing it. Missed the mark. All right, let's try these. There is so much sugar on this, it's ridiculous. That's good. I get the pretzel over the pop tart any day. So sweet, a little bit salty. The only thing is, I always forget just how chewy soft pretzels are. Yeah, they definitely are. But that also gives you a longer eating experience than the pop tart. The pop tart ate fairly quickly. It was pretty dry. But that pretzel, you, I just felt like I was eating so much more. Yeah, definitely and prefer the pretzel. It was absolutely delicious too. Um, anyways, up yeah, next, uh, Mondo pumpkin pie. I, I have been wanting pumpkin pie lately. Now we have had the pumpkin pie Pop-Tarts. We had them in a, that Pop-Tart video. And I remember thinking that they were really good, but pumpkin pie in general is one of my absolute favorite indulgences. Yeah, so I have a feeling we already know which one we'd go for over the other, but I do remember really liking the pumpkin pie Pop-Tart. Yeah. And so we'll see if it lives up to my memories. Now we got this pumpkin pie from Stop and Shop. And for an entire quarter of the pie, is the equivalent of a pack of Pop-Tarts. Yeah, and so it's kind of crazy. So if you're having a pack of Pop-Tarts for breakfast, you could be having an entire quarter of a pumpkin pie. I feel like so many people at like the holidays, if I was to be like, oh, do you want a slice of pie? How much do you want? And I was like, do you just want a quarter of it? They'd be like, oh, that's too much pie. I can't, I can't, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't I have can. a quarter of the pie. But if you've ever had a pack of Pop-Tarts for breakfast, you've had the same amount that, you, that you've had in having a quarter of a pumpkin pie. There you go. I can already tell you how this round's gonna go. Yep. All right, so here is the pumpkin pie pop tart. All right. That does hit. They do a great job with that flavor. Easily in my top five favorite pop tarts, for sure. I feel like they fill that one more than most Pop-Tarts. It's great. Well, here's the pumpkin pie. I think we got one. That's great, but it can't compare to that. No, this is so much better. So if a pack of pumpkin pie Pop-Tarts is in the equation as an option for breakfast, then so is a quarter of that pumpkin pie, and I can tell you which one I'm going for. Yep, that was all day. And that's not too dense of a pumpkin pie either. It was very moist and very fluffy. I really liked it. I feel like that is on the, like, the lower calorie side for a quarter of a pumpkin pie, and maybe it is because it is a little bit lighter. But we don't need to say any more about pumpkin pie. It's delicious. Do you want to try the red velvet cupcakes? Sounds good to me. All right. I have to say though, before we move on to this, 
that the pumpkin pie pop tart is worth getting. If you see it, it is a great pop tart flavor. And like we said before, it is one of our favorites. So I do highly recommend it. However, the pumpkin pie is better. Yeah. But this cupcake is actually supposed to be filled with real cream cheese, which is a lot more than can be said about this pop tart. <laughs> Here's the pop tart. Somewhat similar to the hot fudge sundae. Just a little bit less chocolatey. I think it's the same filling. I'm not getting much red velvet. I guess there's, there's a subtle similarity there, but it's fine. Yeah. I enjoyed it more, the more I ate it. That's exactly what I was gonna say. That one definitely got better as I was eating it. And you could taste that they're trying to do some type, some type of like cream cheese type flavor in that filling. Mm -hmm. I did like it much more come the end. Yeah, the initial bite, underwhelmed, did get better. Mm -hmm. But in eating a pack of those Pop-Tarts compared to one of these cupcakes, let's find that out. I'm gonna cut it open because it's supposed to be filled. Let's see how, how filled it is. Enough. Yeah. That is excellent. You can't beat it. If I could award a winning item of the day out of everything on this table, it would be that cupcake. I don't know if I 100% agree, but I do love that cupcake. I just, I really like the confetti cupcake as well, but also the pumpkin pie. I don't really know. I enjoyed a lot of things today. That was very good. You're gonna have to figure out your favorite item of the day because I just told you guys mine and I don't think that's changing. All right. Well, I'm not really sure what my favorite item of the day is, but I will think about it as we eat the next item, which I think is our last, which is the cookies and cream. Yes. Which we will be eating side by side the most stuff Oreos. Which I guess that's kind of kind of funny that we chose the most stuff Oreo because I feel like Pop Tart fills their Pop Tarts, like fills fills their product with the least amount of filling. And we just chose the most filled pop I mean, most filled Oreo. Thank you. Now, I'm pretty sure that a pack of these cookies and cream Pop-Tarts would be the equivalent to three, I believe it's three. most stuff Oreos. Yes. So I guess if you were eating regular Oreos, maybe four creeping up on five, well, potentially. Who knows? All right, here is the cookies and cream Pop-Tart. This is a classic. So many people commented on our Pop-Tart challenge video saying that we should have had cookies and cream. And s'mores. Yeah. We're but, probably gonna get comments about the s'mores one in this video too. But I think 112 was enough to bring to that challenge. <laughs> Anyways, let's try this one again. It's exactly as I remember, where it is, I think, the driest Pop-Tart that there is. I think it's because of like the cocoa inside of the uh, pastry itself. It, it does completely emulate an Oreo flavor. Mm. Yeah. But it's very dry. Very accurate. <clears throat> At the end of that Pop-Tart video, <clears throat> we didn't mention it until I think the commentary in a different video, but the roofs of our mouths were completely wrecked. That was the worst part of it. And we didn't anticipate that. I'm now remembering why. Because that, like, once you eat a certain number of Pop-Tarts, that, um, icing. like, frosted icing coating thing at the top starts to rough up the top of your mouth. Yeah, my mouth is already irritated. <laughs> I cannot believe we ate so many of those. Yeah. All right, here are the Oreos. By the way, this is our favorite Oreo, I think. Like, the, the amount of filling in it makes it so that it is my favorite Oreo that is not, like, you know, a really fun flavor. Comment down below if you are team most stuff as much cream as you can get into an Oreo as possible, if you like a regular Oreo, or if you like an Oreo thin, which you are just straight up wrong if the thin is your answer. Yeah, you got thin, you got OG, you've got mega, and then you've got the most. And the most is my cup of tea. That's the way to do it. Excellent. It's been a while since we've had the most stuff. And I love them. I'm going most stuff over that cookies and cream pop tart any day. Would never choose the cookies and cream pop tart over the Oreo. Never. Not not even a chance. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Whereas the cinnamon roll, 
stood a chance next to the host of Cinnamon Yeah. Movie. Most stuff really Oreos, good. that Pop Tart, doesn't stand a chance. Nope. <clears throat> I think I feel like Pop Tart started out really strong in this video. Mm -hmm. And it actually kind of had a fighting chance for a second. Yeah, they were kind of like it was like neck and neck for a little while. And then the second half of this, I think. Drop the ball. I'm going yeah. with what it's trying to be any day. I must say though, because um, I'm trying to think of what my favorite item of the day was, I'm still struggling with that. But I think I'm going to go with the vanilla cupcake. For some reason, it just hit really hard today. But I do really love the red velvet. I think when, when it comes to the Pop Tart flavors, I'm going pumpkin pie. And actually, that cinnamon roll one, I really, really enjoyed. Ooh. But I do still love the pumpkin pie one. I think that they do a really good job with it. And the most shocking Pop Tart of the day, I think, goes to this Fruit Loops one. Yeah. I cannot believe I liked it. I anticipated not liking it. Just straight up, I was like, it's not gonna be for me. And completely shocked. Expectations exceeded in a great way. I'm thinking, because for us and for what we do in our videos, people really like when we eat a lot of food. And while we've eaten enough, maybe let's finish this pumpkin pie before concluding the video. Yeah, sounds good to me. Well, that was a lot of fun, and I can't think of a more fun way to end than with a big piece of pumpkin pie. Here it is, one last time. Take it down. Great way to end. A great experience overall. One thing I forgot to award though, when we were kind of debriefing after that, uh, after that last flavor, was the fact that I have to award a losing flavor to Pop-Tart <laughs> being yeah. this pretzel one. Absolutely. That cinnamon sugar pretzel was so lackluster. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to the Pop-Tart flavors, pumpkin pie, I think, might be the best flavor that we have on this table. Mm -hmm. I think the worst flavor on this table goes to that pretzel one. Absolutely. Um, and like you said, the most surprising one to the Fruit Loops, extremely good. Mm -hmm. But you guys watched the video, you guys know which ones we liked and which ones we didn't like. Make sure to comment down below what your favorite flavor Pop-Tart is, or if you don't have access to Pop-Tarts, which flavor you think might be your favorite. Mm -hmm. In general, I think my top three Pop-Tarts of all time stay the same with brown sugar cinnamon. It has to be my number one. You can't beat it. Blueberry. Blueberry. Hands down, my number two. And my number three. Do you have a number three? I'm, I, I struggle a little bit with that, but I do love the pumpkin pie. I think that it might go in the top three. If not top three, top five for sure. Yeah, I said top five, but it actually might take the place of just the classic strawberry. Yeah, I mean, I like blueberry more than strawberry. If I'm getting a fruit flavor, I'm going with the blueberry. Yeah, overall, that was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of it went the way I thought it would, but I think a couple of the flavors really surprised me. Yes. Even eating the confetti cupcake, again, right at the beginning, I'm always gonna choose the cupcake, but the Pop-Tart was still delicious. They do a good job with it. And hopefully you guys found something that we did today insightful, or even the fact that, yeah, you could be eating a quarter of a pumpkin pie or a pack of Pop-Tarts. Maybe that will help you make your decision on what you're going to be indulging on next. However, or what probably, you're having for breakfast. You probably shouldn't be having either for breakfast, but I guess if you're going to have one, I would probably go with the pie. Yeah, but that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Do you have anything else to say? No, um, I think that the only other thing I have to say, just because we're talking about the pie pop tart so much, is the fact that we recently tried the banana cream pie that apparently so many people absolutely loved. Our good friend Josh actually sent them to us from all the way from Jersey. We really appreciated that, so shout out to Josh. We actually did not like that banana cream pie pop tart at all. So if you're going to go with a pie flavor of pop tart, definitely go with the pumpkin pie. That's yeah. it. <laughs> I think that's excellent. Again, make sure to comment something fun down below, either how it is that you enjoy your Pop-Tarts, toasted, frozen, stacked, whatever else they say on that box. That's it. Uh, make sure to comment down below what your favorite Pop-Tart flavor is. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like like we asked in the intro. We've really been enjoying making these videos and we would really like to continue making them, but we really need your help to get this channel to grow. So give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, become part of the Takedown Tribe. We have a lot of fun over here. I think this video was a lot of fun and it works as a good example into how much fun we have over here on this channel. Anyways, thanks you, thank you guys so much for tuning in and we will see you again in the next one.